You know, as a Division One athlete, I'm training, whether it's weights, dry land, or in the pool 20 hours a week. So it's a very, you know, dedicated and committed lifestyle. But I definitely wouldn't change it because of all the friendships that I've made and um, just like the work ethic that I've developed, I think it's gonna really pay out for me in the long run. But a typical training for me, maybe in the school year would look like um, lifting three days a week, and then we'd be in the pool for about 16 hours a week, a little more give or take with uh, meets uh, almost every weekend between October and February. So it definitely keeps me busy, um, but it's been a great experience. I would say that an obstacle I think that I've really been able to overcome since I've been here is just not focusing so much on always trying to lift, you know, like max out on every rep, but taking a step back and focus on, you know, how important the details are um, or making sure like all my muscles are firing at the same time and focusing on connection between my body, which has really allowed me to translate that into the pool. Um, and you can really tell that's how I've been able to, you know, still drop some time in college, just finding those uh, small little uh, areas to work on. So I am switching to a mid-distance training group this year instead of a sprinting um, program. So I just, you know, again, I'm just trying to try to take away little things every day at practice um, and travel to every meet. Um, that's always the goal to make the travel team, which I've done the past two years. Um, so I think, you know, just knowing that I've done my best and that I'm really creating these meaningful relationships with coaches and my teammates, I think, honestly, at the end of the day, that's what makes me happy. In two years, I'm not gonna be swimming anymore, but knowing that I did my best and enjoyed the process of it all is, I think, what will make me happy at the end of the day. So I think uh, what I didn't realize that I would take away from training here is just how much uh, all the instructors really care about my well-being, um, not just for the current training that I'm doing for swimming, but also promoting um, a lifelong um, healthy lifestyle, uh, which has really you know, helped me out um, and allowed me to just focus on making sure I have a good diet, um, but also figuring out ways to sustain um, and exercise uh, for the rest of my life instead of just heavily focusing so much on doing triples every day, but more looking at a lifetime, like long-term perspective. I've had such a positive experience here. You know, Alex and Rob can always put a smile on my face. It's serious, but you know, I can tell that they really do care about me. Um, and they're always, you know, checking in to see how my meets are going mid-season or my championship meet. And it just shows um, it's, and speaks true volumes to how much they truly do uh, care about me, not only as a athlete, but also as a person. Hi, my name's Emma Schuler. I'm from Columbus, Ohio, um, and I'm swimming at Miami University. This is my second summer with Peak, and this is my peak.